Hello everyone. In this video, we will see one important technique what is used in project management for scheduling the overall project, right? Uh, the method is a critical path method or uh, this uh, abbreviation is CPM. It deals basically with project management where the time estimates are deterministic. It is very, very clear and it is deterministic. That time we use this particular method. So let us understand this method with one uh, numerical example. Consider the following table summarizing the details of a project involving 14 activities. So the activities are given here, A, B and so on up to N. And then what are its immediate predecessors? Means what is the immediate preceding activity that is given, right? And if you look into activity A, B, C do not have any preceding activity. Whereas activity D, E, F, G, all these are having one single activity as a preceding activity. Whereas H and I, it has got two preceding activities. Means I cannot start H until I complete both C as well as D. Whereas if you look into this K and L, it has got three preceding activities. Means only after completion of F, H and G, I can start K or L. And then for each activity, the duration uh, in terms of months is given in the question. What are the questions? First question is construct the project network, right? And then subsequently there are uh, four more questions. What we are going to do is that in this video, we will only address about the first question. That is question A, construct the project network. So based on this data, whatever is given, how do we construct a project network? So we may see here activity A, B, C do not have any preceding activity. That means all these activities can start from the very first node. Node, what we mean is a circle. We will be drawing a circle. And from that first circle, we can start these activities A, B, C as arrows. So that arrow represents those, uh, these activities, right? So let us draw that. Let us draw it here. So first I will draw a circle. Just a minute. Yeah. And call that circle as node one. Then I can start three different arrows, uh, which is basically your activities, right? So draw some arrows one like this I will call that activity as A and another arrow for B and then one more arrow for C like this three arrows. So here I will put that circle also again. I mean, now this, let me call this as two, a circle two. This I am going to call it as activity A and this one to two represents this particular activity. One to two represents the activity A. And uh, let me also put a comma next to that comma. I will be writing the duration of A. Duration of A is given as two months. So I will write A comma Similarly here one circle, call that as three, node three. And here I will draw one more circle. I'll call it as node four, right? This will be our activity B. This will be our activity C. Let us check what are the durations for B and C. B it is six, C it is four. So let us fill up that six and four. Then what is the next? So what we have done is we have already drawn A, B and C, right? Activity D can start after completion of activity B. I have to see that I have to ensure that B is completed. Then only I can start D. Then I will check whether D, this activity D, is it getting merged with any other activity in the immediate predecessor? I note that 
is getting merged with C. Already we have drawn C. So when we draw this D, I need to ensure that it is getting merged with the C also. Means one is I should draw D wherever B is getting completed. And I also need to ensure that, that this, this particular activity D should get with merged with this activity C. So let us draw now D. It can start wherever B is getting completed. B is getting completed at node 3. From there I can start D and I should ensure that it is getting merged with C. Let me bring a arrow like this. That will be our D. And the duration of D is what? Duration of D is 3. Let me put a tick here and write 3 over there. Okay. Now, let us proceed. Activity E can start after completion of activity A. Then I check whether this E is getting merged with any other activity in this column, in this immediate predecessors column. I find that E is alone, it is not getting merged. So I can draw, uh, with, without any consideration, I can draw a straight line from uh, wherever this A is getting completed. Means I may draw an arrow where A is getting completed. From there, A is getting completed at this node C, sorry, node 2. From there, I can draw this activity E. This I will call it as E activity. And uh, I can put a circle here. And uh, what is the duration of activity E? Duration is six months. Let me write six over there. Okay. Then let us go to the next. We have already drawn E. Let us go to the next. Next is F. F can start after A is getting completed. And then I check whether this F is getting merged with anything. Yes, it is getting merged with G and H, but so far we have not drawn G and H. So as of now, what I will do, I will simply draw F with a line, with an arrow, uh, wherever uh, A is getting ended. A is getting end ended at this node 2, from there I can start F. So I will draw an arrow from node 2. Something like this. So that I will put a circle there. Call this as F. And what is the duration of F? Duration of F is eight months. Let me put a tick here. Write eight over there. Okay. Now, what is the next activity? Next activity is activity G. It can start uh, from that node where B is getting completed. Then I check whether this G, is it getting merged with anything? We notice that it is getting merged with F, a G. A G is getting merged with, merged with F and H. Already we have drawn F, so I need to ensure that when I draw G, it should get merged with F also. And I can draw G where B is getting ended, two things. I can draw G where B is getting ended, and then I should ensure that G gets merged with F also. Where B is getting ended. B is getting ended at this node 3. From there I have to start G and I should ensure that it gets merged with F. Like this. I will call this now as G. And what is the duration of G? Duration of G is three months. Let us write three over there, wherever I wrote G. Okay, let us move on next. Activity H can start on completion of activities C and D. Then I check whether H is getting merged with anything. Yes, it is getting merged with F as well as G. Already we have drawn F and G. So what I need to ensure, I need to ensure two things. I can start H wherever this activity C and D, both are getting completed, number one. And then I should also ensure, when I draw that arrow of H, I need to ensure that it meets wherever this F and G are getting merged. Let us do that. 
So where C and D are getting merged, it is here. C and D is getting merged here. From there, I should I can start H, and I need to ensure that it meets the same end node where F and G are getting ended. So let us draw the arrow accordingly. From here, I will take the arrow to this node. Right. This we are going to call it as H. And what is the duration of H? Duration of H is seven months. Let me put a tick here because we have drawn it. Let me write seven over there. Okay. Now let us proceed further. Activity I can start on completion of C and D. And I check whether I is getting merged with anything in this column. No, it is alone here. It is alone. It is not getting merged. So I can draw a simple arrow wherever C and D is getting ended. Wherever C and D is getting ended, it is ended at node 4. From there, I can draw a straight arrow. Like this. And uh, draw a circle over there. What we have drawn is activity I. Now check, let us check what is the duration for activity I. It is two months. First, let me put a tick here because I is drawn right to two over there, wherever I wrote I. Done. Let us move on further. Activity J can start wherever E is getting completed. Where E is getting completed? E is getting completed at this circle. So let us give some numbers here. I already gave one, two, three, four. Let me give this as five, this as six, and this I will give it as seven. Okay. Now uh, let me check the next one. Activity J can start when where I E is getting completed. And then I check whether this J is getting merged with anything or not. Yes, it is getting merged with K. But K is not a drawn, so I can draw now as of now J as a straight arrow wherever E is getting ended. Where E is getting ended, it is getting ended at this node 6. From there, I can draw a straight arrow. Right? So let me put a circle over there and call this as J. Let us check what is the duration for J. Duration for J is five months. So I have to go and write five over there. Already we wrote five, six, seven. Let me give a number here, eight. What is the next after J? After J it is K and we may note K can start on completion of F, G and H. And then I check whether K is getting merged with anything. Yes, it is getting merged with J. J already we have drawn. So we have to be careful in ensuring two things. One is I can start K wherever F, G and H are getting ended. From that end node, I have to start K. Another thing is I have to ensure that that arrow of K should meet this particular activity J. So F, G and H where it is getting ended. It is ending here. From there, I can start uh, K activity. And I should ensure that it meets the end activity of J, end node of J. So from here, I need to draw like this. This I will call it as K. And what is the duration of K? Let us check that. It is four months. Let me put a tick here and write next to K, I'll write four. Right. Then what is the next activity? L. Activity L can start on completion of F, G and H. Then I check whether L is getting merged with anything in this particular column, immediate predecessor column. I will notice that L is not at all appearing in the predecessor column, which means L is actually going to the last node. L is going to the last node. So from this node, I can start L. And I will just pull this to the end 
I'll call that as a end node, right? Let me draw a circle there. This is our L. Now let us see what is the duration for L. Duration for L is three months. So let me put a tick here because we have drawn it. Let me write three over there. Okay. Now, next activity M can start after completion of activity I. Then I check whether M is uh, merging with anything. M is not at all appearing. That means even this M has to go to the last node. Means the arrow has to touch the last node. And M I can start where I is getting ended. Where I is getting ended is here. It has to go again to the last node. So let me bring one arrow from here and ensure that it reaches the last node like this. This I will call it as M. And what is the duration of M? Let us check that. M's duration is 13 months. First, let me put a tick here because we have drawn it. Here I will write 13. Right. What is the next activity? Activity N is the last activity. It can start after completion of J and K. Then I check whether N is getting merged with anything. Of course not because it is the last node. It goes to the end node. So on completion of J and K, wherever that node is, from there I can start N and that end node of N should go to the last node. J and K, it is here. From there I have to start and reach here. From here, end it here. That is our N activity N. What is the duration of activity N? Let us check that. It is seven months. Let me put a tick here because we have drawn it and we will write here seven months. Right. Now we had given numbers for everything except for the last node. Now the next node it will be number will be nine. So this project network has nine nodes in it and uh, uh, there was no requirement to draw any dummy activity without any dummy activity which we generally denoted by denoted by dotted lines which do not have any duration just for the sake of constructing network whatever we draw as dummy activity that necessity do not arise here all are required uh, activities only nothing is dummy activity in this particular uh, construction of this particular network right so we have uh, three more questions b c and d that we will see in our uh, subsequent videos right in the meantime i thank you all Please take care. See you in the next video.